welcome back. I know a lot of people are confused about the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence. And if that's you and you realize you want both and you want to build both, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. As always, if you like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, that's because you wanna achieve your highest potential and I respect and admire that about you. Let's dive right into it. What is the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence? Well, one thing we do know is that high self-esteem and high self-confidence are both correlated with better outcomes in almost every single area of your life. Career, family, hobbies, financial, anything you can think of. We even rate people with high self-esteem and high self-confidence. We rate these people as more attractive, more engaging, more worthy of leadership. So, what's the difference between the two and how can you start to grow in your self-esteem and self-confidence? Self-esteem, simply put, simply put, uh, the, the way that I like to remember this, esteem, when you esteem something, it means that you like it, you feel good about it, you admire it possibly, right? You respect it. So self-esteem then is the degree to which you esteem yourself. Do you like you? Do you like you? And I personally am not a huge fan of the personal development movement that says that you should just love yourself and self-care and all that. While that is massively important, you don't get self-esteem by giving yourself compliments. You get self-esteem by being worthy of your own compliments. You get self-esteem when you make yourself into a person that you would like, admire, respect, and want to be. So how do you do that? Well, you have to think. It starts by asking, who do I want to be as a person? And what does that person do? What is the life that they're creating? And as you start to live that life, so too naturally will your self-esteem increase and be there for you. Now, the other way to do it much faster, you have to understand that in coaching, I might do something different with someone than I would tell you to do on YouTube or watching a video. In coaching, it's a much faster process to build self-esteem and self-confidence because in coaching, we would find out your values. We'd find out what's most important to you and then we would change your beliefs about yourself to align with what's most important to you in life. And when you are a reflection of that, then you will esteem yourself highly. So confidence then, on the other hand. Confidence is, uh, you know, confidence comes from the Latin confide, uh, or to come with faith. Faith, certainty, trust in an outcome, right? So when you're confident about something, you're certain that it's going to happen. Now, self-confidence rather, is confidence within your skills, your abilities, your ability to produce an outcome might be self-confidence. And people describe confident people uh, when we think about what confidence is, uh, everybody usually thinks about it a little differently. For some people, uh, confidence communicates as a quiet confidence. Somebody who's very grounded and still. For others, it's more extroverted. So we, you have to get really clear about what does confidence mean to you uh, because it can mean different things to different people. But you can certainly grow it. You can certainly grow your certainty of yourself. And in fact, uh, if you're watching this at the end of the video, you're gonna have an opportunity to download a free confidence builder. It's my 90 second confidence workout. And when you do this, you will learn how to access a feeling of confidence within yourself and trigger it whenever you want to. It's a brilliant technique. It comes from the field of NLP. And if you do it regularly, you will find yourself being more confident naturally and automatically it's my gift to you and I'm thrilled and privileged to be able to do that. Uh, so I'm curious to hear from you. What is the one thing that you want most about building your self-esteem and self-confidence? Is it more important to you uh, to get all those benefits that we mentioned earlier where you're making more money, you have better relationships, etc., Or do you just want to feel better about yourself? In either case, 
I really, really respect and admire you because if you're watching this, that means that you want to improve yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. And as long as you stay curious about the best cutting edge mindset techniques, the best ways that you can have an incredible life, you will find those ways. Now, here on this channel, make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and I'm gonna bring you the absolute best that I find, that I use in my coaching practice, that I use with myself to get incredible breakthrough results with people.